Now that we've had some sun and warmth, I guess we could be getting more rain soon, Henry. Eventually, we'll get a bit of shower activity tonight and tomorrow, but the wildfire smoke still impacting Canada as well as the northern United States. We've got smoke aloft, but at the surface, things are better, thankfully. But for now, expect the hazy conditions to continue tonight and tomorrow as the smoke lingers aloft. But at the surface, we shouldn't have that much of a problem for tomorrow, except if you're in the Red River Valley could be a little thicker there with the smoke skywarn training that's going to be held in Granville this evening at 6 30 p.m. in McHenry County at the Community Center. So if you're in Granville, um, get out and enjoy because the National Weather Service will be there to talk about severe weather and safety. If you don't make it there, then tomorrow the National Weather Service will be holding the same meeting in Stanley at seven o'clock and my not. They'll be coming to the Ward County Administration Building at 6 30 this Wednesday. Looking at radar right now, we've got showers and storms mainly near the Montana Dakota line on pushing into Divide County showers and a few isolated storms. Even some of that will be watching as it pushes closer to Watford City. Still getting some rain in Sydney and down just to north of Glendive. Also southwestern parts of North Dakota in and around Dickinson. A few showers, a couple of um, isolated storms on um, just to the east of Rainy Butte and down into northern Harding County. Not expecting some Severe weather at home, but we are getting severe weather across the Gulf Coast state. Severe thunderstorms pushing through southern Louisiana and racing closer to the capital city of Baton Rouge, eventually getting into New Orleans as well. Heavy rain, possible tornadoes. There have been reports of damage from this line of storms that has spawned a tornado warning for Lafayette, Louisiana, and they could get those quick spin up. Um, tornadoes and rotation within this strong line of thunderstorms which is trying to bow as it pushes closer to Baton Rouge and eventually New Orleans. They could get in on some strong damaging wind on that. So the Gulf Coast region is where the severe weather threat is going to continue for this evening and tonight. Nothing like that here at home. Thankfully, we're in the 70s, a few 80s. South wind does remain light, but we are going to remain a bit on the hazy side. Chance of showers will be pushing eastward overnight into the center. Central Dakota. Some of us will be waking up to a little bit of rain. I'm not expecting any type of heavy rain, thankfully, and not nearly as much as we had last week, but uh, maybe a tenth to a quarter of inch for some for tomorrow. However, we will have several more rain chances throughout the week, so the amounts will likely be adding up. Don't expect an excessive amount, but through the coming days with rain chances continuing at least through the first half of the weekend, we could be dealing with maybe a quarter of inch, some places half an inch in total. So for tonight, expect morning lows to fall into the upper 40s, low 50s. We're back into at least closer to normal, uh, mid to upper 60s and a few low 70s for tomorrow where those rain chances are at 70%. For now, not expecting um, you to have to really cancel your plans. If anything, that may be a little bit of a delay for tomorrow. After that, just a few scattered showers here and there and eventually looking better. But can't really complain. No severe weather threats, so things are looking good overall. All right. Thanks, Henry.